Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to my review of the Huddersfield Town nil Chelsea 3 game which took place on Saturday at 3pm. Um, I'm going to start by giving you the lineup if I can remember it and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game. So the lineup on which Sari went with, long story short I got my personal lineup wrong or my predicted lineup shall we say, but the lineup was um, Kepa in goal, back four of Cesar Aspilicueta, David Luiz, Antonio Rudiger and Marcos Alonso. Midfield three of Jorginho, Kante and Ross Barkley to start with. And up front, uh, Mauricio Sarri went with Pedro on the right-hand side, Alvaro Morata up front and Pedro on the left-hand side, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Well, no, not Pedro, William, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, that lineup, um, that was the lineup. Um, yeah, in terms of the game, I wasn't able to stream it on Chelsea TV because... Um, I, I, it just wasn't working, it wasn't working out for me, so I had to use the Sky Sports blog and I also had to watch Gillette Soccer sat Saturday in the background, um, so yeah, I do apologise if it wasn't the best quality video, and also apologise for, for not doing a team sheet reaction, but let's get into my thoughts on the game, I thought that we were, we were solid, not, not, our, not, not exactly the greatest performance from Chelsea, but I thought we were solid and we got the job done. I thought that we we could. I think that we should be able to improve defensively, with um, with the under, with the um, development of understanding of Sari's um, playing style. I think that um, we played really well going forward, but defensively, like I said, we need to improve, and I think that we'll get better within time. And um, the goals themselves, the first goal. This one caught me by surprise. You never you never see Angolo Kante score. Um, or shall I say you rarely see him score but it was a good goal, good cross from Willian it evaded Morata which which he was he, he was actually aiming for Morata but it evaded him and then Kante put it into the, into the bottom corner with his weaker left foot good goal and a good goal for N'Golo Kante as well he didn't celebrate, I don't think he likes to celebrate but good goal from N'Golo Kante the second goal, before I get into the second goal it was definitely a penalty there is some debate about whether it's a pen it was a penalty or not, but I think it was a penalty. He caught the player, the ball was gone. The ball was actually going towards the goal. Um, I think it was I think it was Schindler. Yeah, it was Schindler. He was nowhere near the ball, and yeah, he caught Marcus Alonso. It did look a bit soft, but when you look at it closely, it is a penalty. Um, Jorginho took the, he stepped up and took the penalty, and he made um, he made Ben Hamer look like an absolute. He made him look average, in which he isn't. Slotted the penalty into down the middle of the goal, and off he went to celebrate. And the third goal, Pedro just doing what Pedro does, and taking the absolute piss out of the keeper by sticking it over him, um, and into the bottom corner, and that was the three 0 So um, good, perf decent performance, I'd say. Good result, and we're second in the table so far. Um, after after one game, which is good, which is a good start for Chelsea. We we just need to build the momentum, and we need to beat Arsenal on Saturday, and we need to um, see where this this system is going to take us. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you all very soon for some Arsenal previews and for some Arsenal opposition previews. <sighs> Can't wait. But well, come on, you Blues, and peace.